pictures have been uh, put out by ISRO of uh, what really is going to be going to the moon in terms of uh, the mission, the solar mission, which is Aditya L1. I'll just come back to you in a moment from uh, now, Akshita. We have a reaction also. In fact, uh, the Prime Minister, let's put that soundbite out of the Prime Minister who had spoken about uh, the launch of uh, Aditya L1 mission just a few days. भविष्य के लिए कई बड़े और महत्वाकांक्षी लक्ष्य तय किए हैं जल्द ही सूर्य के विस्तृत अध्ययन के लिए इसरो आदित्य एल वन मिशन लॉन्च करने जा रहा है इसके बाद शुक्र भी इसरो के लक्ष्यों में से एक है गगनयान के जरिए देश अपने पहले ह्यूमन स्पेस फ्लाइट मिशन के लिए भी पूरी तैयारी के साथ जुटा है भारत बार बार ये साबित कर रहा है कि स्काई इज नॉर्थ द लिमिट प्रमोद माधव कंटिन्यूज टू बी विद प्रमोद टॉक टू आस लिटल अबाउट द चैलेंजेस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर मिशन uh that isro scientists have underscored really what are they saying well like uh, the uh, the important challenge is to actually reach the distance that's going to be 1.5 million kilometers and uh, uh one thing about isro is that they have had so far 100% success when it comes to such kind of missions because be it mangalyaan or be it three chandrayaan uh, chandrayaan uh, uh, missions what they have done is that they have used a technique called a slingshot technique where they would use earth's gravity on one side which is perigee which is the shortest distance between the object and earth and apogee which is going to be the largest distance and they will slingshot it every time using thrusters to a set, uh, maybe 20 or 30 seconds burn that by increasing the actual distance so this is what they are going to deploy this time as well but after reaching a certain uh, distance this satellite is going to cruise and this is how it's going to reach the actual orbit of the sun it's called as a halo orbit this is going to be very interesting as well because considering the size of the sun unlike what uh, the uh, the orbiter does with the moon or mangalyaan it's not going to be that easy to go around the sun so that's a reason this time it's going to be a halo orbit which is like a circle over the head this is why it's called as a halo orbit that way this satellite would also have 24/7 data received from the sun the very important aspect here is that we are going to study about the sun surface especially about the solar storm or solar flare because there are a lot of information we require about it because there is a chance that in the near future such solar flares can also change the magnetic wavelength or the uh, the magnetic way the, the earth behaves or other planets behave as well so all these things will be studied by aditya l1 very crucial data will be received from aditya l1 to isro crucial data is going to be received and what's also interesting and it it's important to clarify also uh, promote the uh, is that essentially this isn't uh, a mission to the sun the name of course is aditya l1 uh, but the destination of the mission uh, is going to be actually the halo talk to us about the distance between the halo that you are referring to and the l1 point certainly this is going to be 1.5 million kilometer distance that is going to be covered and aditya actually which means the sun is going to study about the sun this is a dedicated planet observatory satellite kind of method which is isro which isro is actually you going to use and this is way way ahead of what other nations or developed nations are doing because imagine like such kind of a uh, uh, de like decision to go ahead and study about the sun is use, uh, done using uh, space observatories on earth surface and like uh, maybe hubble space telescope which actually goes behind the sun and various other stars as well but isro has decided and it's a very good decision as well to study about the sadi star that is close to earth and that's the reason this satellite will be launched on 2nd of september the like important aspect about the the behavior of sun's sun and how it will impact the weather patterns and various other patterns on the uh, earth is something that they are going to uh, like uh, uh, dedicate the satellite to study about something very interesting we are going we are expecting a lot of information a lot of data from aditya l1 once it reaches that distance 